Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Jason Geyer, broker owner here at Noble Real Estate Services, property management and sales. And today <clears throat> we're going to be talking about the anatomy of an eviction. Uh, oftentimes when people don't pay their rent or if they don't comply with the terms and conditions of their contract, we need to enter into an eviction status on that tenancy and uh, many times people who self-manage don't know the actual process that one has to go through legally to remove a tenant from possession of the premises. Uh, it's a very emotionally charged situation usually because the owners are really depending on their rent money and if people don't pay they want them out and they want them out today and unfortunately that's just not how the law works. Uh, the way the law works is if a tenant hasn't paid their rent uh, when it's due, say on the 1st, uh, legally you can serve a uh, three-day notice to pay rent or quit, which gives the tenant three business days to either deliver possession of the premises, uh, meaning return keys to the property and vacate, or they can pay their rent. After those three business days, legally, you can refuse receiving the rent and proceed with the uh, eviction process. And what that looks like is you submit your case worksheet through the uh, uh, courts and then uh, you have the tenant served. Uh, typically, if, if the tenant answers the door and you serve them their papers, they have five days to respond to uh, the complaint that they've been served. Uh, if they avoid you, then you have to petition the court to go ahead and just post it on the door, uh, which is called an order to post. And then uh, there, uh, 15 days has to go by before uh, you can proceed with the next step. And in those 15 days, if the tenant responds with an answer to the complaint, then a, a trial date gets set. And then you get to go to court and show the, t the, the judge how the tenant didn't pay or didn't abide by the terms and conditions of the contract. And subject to the verdict of that uh, court case, the outcome, you will either win the case and a judgment against that tenant and then a sheriff's lockout will be scheduled uh, and, and again that's usually three to four weeks uh, following the the court date so uh, all told depending on the court calendar uh, how many cases they're listening to uh, you know evictions can take anywhere from six weeks to three months depending on how busy and inundated the courts are uh, and, and with uh, the courts consolidating all of their evictions into the downtown courthouse, uh, they're basically pretty backed up. So uh, you want to make sure <clears throat> that you qualify your tenants well, you have a large security deposit, and put your seatbelt on because it becomes a pretty bumpy ride when you have to go in into a, an eviction status. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, evictions or you need a great property manager to rescue you from a non-paying tenant, give me a call. Thanks again for listening and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.